Welcome to Real Sense, and today on this sunny, beautiful day, I'm gonna bring you guys a video on how to make this solar panel work with any portable power station. Now, this solar panel, I got it for $125 off Facebook Marketplace, and it's a used solar panel, but even though it's used, you're gonna find out how this solar panel is way better than any name brand solar panel. And you're gonna find out how I can make this compatible with any portable power station. Now, starting off with the specs for the solar panel, this is a 400 watt solar panel. And if you look at the open circuit voltage, it's 47 volts. And those are the numbers you wanna keep in mind because I'm gonna show you how these numbers can be converted to be compatible with your portable power station. All right, so following the cables, I have them running through my window into my office and connecting into this box which is where all the magic happens and from the box there's an output and that output connects straight into my ecoflow river pro now the ecoflow river pro has the following solar charging specs so it can do 200 watts from 10 to 25 volts dc at 12 amps max so these are the numbers you got to keep an eye out on your device or your portable power station to make it compatible. And if you were to use the EcoFlow solar panels, you notice that the 110 starts at $300, the 160 starts at $349, and the 220 watt, which will be the maximum input for this portable power station, it's $549, which if you ask me, that's way too much. And I understand they have some benefits, like they are portable and they are compatible and they have all the connections so you don't have to make up connections or do your own wirings but if you're like me and you're a DIYer and on top of that you like to save money I'm gonna show you how for $20 you can charge the Eco River Pro at its maximum solar input of 200 watts all right so I had just demonstrated how disconnecting the input cable turns off the charging so it's just to demonstrate that disconnecting the input will stop charging and I'm not trying to trick you guys and now I'm disconnecting the cable straight from the solar panel so you can see that it's the cable that goes into the box and it also stops charging. All right, so connecting the cable back, you're gonna see how it only takes a couple of seconds to receive the charge and you can see it's gonna go all the way up to the maximum 200 watts. Now, remember that this is solar charging. So depending on the weather conditions, that's gonna affect your charging rate. So keep that in mind that it's not gonna be maximum all the time it's gonna vary depending on your weather conditions and the time of day and how much sun is available and i'm pretty sure you are all aware of that and i do recommend watching other channels that focus on solar panels for helpful hints and how to get the most out of your solar panels but for this video i'm going to show you something that i haven't seen before and it has saved me a lot of money and that's why i'm sharing it because i did not want to pay 550 dollars to charge this device and with some research i noticed that it really takes no effort at all to make any or most solar panels compatible with your portable power station. And it's just a matter of doing a little math and finding the right tool for the job. All right, so the cable in my hand is the output coming straight from the solar panel. And you're gonna notice that once I plug it in, it is not gonna charge the portable power station. Therefore, yes, that confirms that that solar panel is not compatible with this portable power station. All right. So as you can see, it is not charging. And waiting a couple of seconds more, you can see there is no charging coming through. And I bet right now you're thinking like, man, can you stop talking and just show me what it is? And yes, I will do that right now. All right, so this is a step down converter or a voltage reducer. And it does just what the name says. It reduces or steps down the voltage from an input to an output. And looking at it closer, you can see that the input is 48 volts and the output is 24 volts at 10 amps. And these are the XC60 connectors that I wired together. And you can get these connectors off Amazon and it's pretty easy. Just use a regular cable connector to plug everything in. And this voltage converter is made by XWST and you can find it in Amazon and there's all kinds of uh, other companies that sell them in Amazon but this one in particular has a bunch of conversions to it so so you can order the one that will be specific to your needs now a cool thing about these converters is that they're IP67 rated so that means they're waterproof and weatherproof and they also come with this heat shield which allows it to dissipate heat easily and it does not get hot at all it gets a little warm to the touch but that's about it and you can see the little holes on the side and that allows it to be mounted anywhere you want all right so if you have a solar panel that according to the brand isn't compatible with your portable power station remember that all you have to do is see what the solar specs are for your device and just find a way to meet those specs 
and the way that I found it easier for me was using this step down converter. Alright, so if you found this video helpful, the kitties living under my solar panel are asking that please like, subscribe, share, comment, you know, yeah, so support the channel by sharing, liking. If you have any questions, write them down below, I'll get back to you. Uh, also subscribe, hit the bell notification, and just to let you guys know, I'm not sponsored by anybody except these cats. So yeah, just keep an eye out for future videos. I have some videos coming up and I'm sure you're gonna like them. I have a new project and I'm gonna show it to you guys because not only can this EcoFlow charge at 200 watts, it can charge at 600 watts from the wall outlet and I'm gonna show you how using the same solar panel, I can maximize it to 400 watts. Till next time, bye.